ever heard of the term AI agent and wondered what it means? Well, they are digital bots that can interpret what we want and make autonomous choices and complete tasks. You can tell them what you need using different programming languages or specific commands and they can use tools available to them to accomplish your commands. However, working with these AI agents often requires a sandbox environment for multiple reasons including security, safety and ease of development. This is where A2B comes into picture. A2B is a platform used to augment building AI autonomous agents. It allows you to provide your AI agent access to tools in a safe and sandbox environment. With its sandbox feature, you can set up an environment with whatever tools and packages your AI agent requires for the task you want to accomplish. This is very helpful as you can effectively decouple your agent's deployment from its working area. This means that any actions like file system operations are contained within a separate sandbox and in case of unwanted actions means that deployment environment will remain safe and stable. So, what these AI agents can actually do? Well, almost anything, as long as it can accomplish through code and combine with the right tools and data. So, why would you need an AI agent instead of doing a task yourself or hiring someone else to do it? Well, AI agents are like smart decision makers. They are really good at looking at tons of information, figuring out patterns and making important choices in different areas. They can work on their own without needing someone to watch over them, which is super important, especially in things like self-driving cars, where decisions need to be made really quickly. Let's build an AI agent which will watch for changes to a file containing questions, which will extract questions from the file whenever it's updated and write the answers into a file that can be downloaded as long as the sandbox is running. It's quite simple, but the goal is to show an example of how an AI agent might be built and to show you how E2B actually works. To start, let's initialize a Node.js project by running npm init with a Y flag and let's go ahead and install E2B.env and open EA packages using npm install. With the project structure set up, it's time to add functionality. Open up lib folder and create an index.js file so we can start building our agent. Start by setting up the environment and import necessary modules. We continue with more setup operations and define a bunch of variables to represent the file and folders that a agent will operate on. Then we add a file system setup function that creates necessary directories like input folder and output folder using the sandbox.filesystem.makeDir method. We then catch and log any errors that might occur during this process. Note how instead of using the native nodefs library to create directories, we are creating the directories using the e2b file system API. This provides a hosted directory where you can upload and download files for free. Next is a function save to file that saves the provided data to a file, which forwards the file name by removing any non-alphanumeric characters, creates a new file path based on original file name and current timestamp, and it also writes the data to the file system based on this path. We also catch and log any errors during this process. So far, we haven't included any AI in our code and it can't really do much. Let's fix this by adding a function that will allow us to query OpenAI's GPT 3.5 model for the answers in our questions input file. This answer question with GPT function accepts a text question as an argument, initializes the OpenAI API client and then queries the completion APIs with the prompt and the question argument. At the end, we simply return the trimmed response from GPT 3.5. In this instance, all usage of AI is very simple. However, you could take this much further by giving the model access to tools like code interpreter, API integration, etc. This would allow for a wide variety of tasks to be handled by the agent. Also, you can observe the agent's activity through the console log sprinkled all over the code and by checking the output in the explanation folder within the sandbox. To access the explanation sandbox folder, you can use the file system API to read the generated files. This function will let us view the output of the agent later. We list all the files in a directory and if there are files, we read and save all of them into an array. It's a simple way of doing it. We are simply accessing the file system via ATP file systems API and outputting the contents in the console. Let's go on to the core function of the agent. Here, we read the input file from the sandbox file system and form the content into an array of trimmed questions. We answer each question with the answer question with CVD function above and save the response in sandbox file system. In the end, we view the output explanations folder to inspect agent's output. Then we clear the input file to ensure that those questions aren't answered again. Now, let's talk about the main part of the agent, which is brain. So first, let's make sure the OpenAI and E2B API keys are ready to go. Then we create a new E2B sandbox and remember the sandbox URL. Just know this URL is the secret entrance to the sandbox inner stuff, like files and how it works. After that, we set up a special folders in the sandbox. We also add an event listener to the folder where we put our questions. This listener is like an alert system. It pays attention and does things when we change the questions. Inside this alert system, we store the agent. This means that the agent works on new questions right away, but only when we make changes like adding new questions. Lastly, we throw in some test questions into the mix. This is just a little trick to get the bot talking and responding to the questions. All right, with that all in place, we can run it and see it in action. Run the agent by executing node lib slash index.js in your terminal. This will kickstart the main function, setting up the sandbox environment and preparing the agent for processing questions. Once the agent is running, it will monitor the input 
slash topics or txt file for changes. When new questions are added to this file, the agent will process them, generating assets using GPT model. There are plans to make it indefinite, but for now, you can resume a sandbox anytime with its ID with await sandbox or preconnect. With the right use case models and your imagination, A agents can use to accomplish almost any task possible in the digital space. What we have covered in this tutorial is just a glimpse of what you can do, especially when taking advantage of A2B's feature. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.